Today I'm going to give you a bit of information on a, a famous woman Jewish hero. Now, it isn't the prophetess Deborah, and it's not Yael who was famous for killing Sisera, and it's not Esther from the story of Purim. No, this hero's name was Judith, and here is what she did. Sometime more than 2,000 years ago, maybe between the 6th and the 2nd centuries uh, BCE, uh, an Assyrian general named Holofernes and his army laid siege to the Jewish city of Bethulia. Now, with their water cut off, things were not looking good for the people of Bethulia, and the city's elders decided that if they did not receive help in five days, they would surrender. Now, there was a widow in the city named Judith, and she was pretty unimpressed with this decision. Okay, not what I had in mind. So she decided to take matters into her own hands. One night, Judith left the city with one of her handmaids and approached the Assyrian army. She told the guards that she had some information that would be of interest to the general. She was led into his tent, and there she met Holofernes. Now, it probably didn't hurt her case that Holofernes thought she was totally hot. But what was doubly of interest was what she had to say. She told him that the Jews of the city were on the verge of turning away from God, and then the moment that happened would be the moment that he should attack, and his victory would be assured. With his permission, she would return to Bethulia to pray, and she would report back to him each night to let him know how things were going. He agreed, and he invited her to dine with him. She accepted the invitation, but says that she would not eat any of his food, and only the food that her handmaid had brought in a sack. Three nights Judith returned, and on the third night, she said that the moment to attack would be very, very soon. Elated, Holofernes invited her to celebrate once more, and so she shared with him some salty cheese that she had brought with her. The problem is, the more that he ate, the thirstier he got, and the thirstier, thirstier he got, the more he drank. The more he drank, the drunker he got, until he passed it. So what happened next? Well, Judith cut his head off. Ew, gross. Then they took the head and put it in the sack that the handmaid had brought, and the two of them walked out of the army camp, as they had appeared to do so on so many other nights, and went back to the city of Bethulia. Once there, Ju Judith gathered the city's residents together, held up the head of the enemy general, and told them that the moment for their attack would be in the morning. They did so, and when the Assyrian army went to rouse the general and discovered his headless body, they were in complete disarray. They were routed and expelled, and the city of Bethulia was saved. And here's a bit of trivia for you. We know that during Hanukkah, uh, we often eat potato latkes. But potato latkes weren't actually thi a thing until about the 19th century. Before then, we ate salty fried cheese in honor of Judith. I hope you enjoyed this bit of history, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and stick around for more stories and videos. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon.